Notre Dame, now that Mike Krzyzewski is gone, Mike Bray is the best coach in the ACC. And that is a mouthful because as we've talked about this, this entire preview, coaching matters in this conference. And the teams that don't have the coaches that connect with their players and get the most and get the best out of their players, they don't succeed. Mike Bray somehow, some way, finds a way to not only tap into what each player can contribute, but somehow weave it in to, you know, a, a tapestry that ultimately looks good as it goes up into the Raptors. That's the kind of coach that Mike Bray is. That's the kind of team that Notre Dame is. Notre Dame can beat you if they put their mind to it defensively. They can beat you trying to score. They can beat you in the half court. They, thanks to their coach and the players buying into the system, and he recruits specific kind of players. That's why Notre Dame always has to be in the conversation in the ACC. Notre Dame is one of those teams that are very interesting to pay attention to because you can look at these, these players and this team in several different ways. And I think this is why it makes them a really good sleeper. Now, obviously they were 15 and five last year in the conference. That was good enough for tied for second um, you know, with, with UNC. So, I mean, they were great last year. However, they did lose arguably two of their best players, break Wesley, Paul Atkinson's junior. Yeah. But then you look on the flip side, they return five seniors and four of them are super seniors, you know? So they are one of the oldest teams in the country. That means they have a lot of experience on the Virginia side. They're obviously nowhere this type of play like Virginia. But when you look at that experience and you look at what they can do and what they did last year, it's hard to not put them into the conversation. Because although they did lose Wesley, and that is a huge blow. Let's put, let's put that up. That killer. Is, that killer. Is something, killer. Yeah, that is something that we need to keep in mind here, that this team is not the same team, even though they are bringing back a decent amount of their squad. Wesley was a huge asset of why they went 24 and 11 last year and, and 15 and 5 in the conference. But, yes, they do deserve to be in credit here. This is why they're a great, great category for the sleeper to start off this ACC preview. because. In our minds right now, that means that they could be the fifth place team, fourth place team. They could really make a run in the ACC. Yeah, they're the kind of team that can win the tournament because, again, they buy in to what their coach is preaching and selling. They did bring in a secret weapon, once again, bragging on my Metro Atlantic conference. Marcus Hammond from Niagara, he's a, he's a taller version of Calvin Murphy. And a lot, a lot of you younger kids don't probably even know who Calvin Murphy is. He may have been, outside of maybe Louis Dampier, who played in the ABA with the Kentucky Colonels, the best, the purest shooter I have ever seen. Hammond is a taller version because Calvin Murphy was like five. I think he listed at five, nine. I think he was like five, 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 six. Hammond, six, three. He can shoot it from anywhere. I mean, I keep, I kept expecting him at Niagara to pull up at the half court line just because he could and drill a three. I mean, it's better that he got closer to drill the three, but it, it wouldn't surprise me if he pulled up at the half court line because he saw something, drilled the three, and then got the team back on defense. He is going to, be the secret weapon for Notre Dame because when they need a big bucket, Hammond's going to be able to deliver it. He, he's not Blake Wesley. There aren't many players in the ACC that are Blake Wesley, but Hammond is going to make a huge difference in Notre Dame. And that's why I was so insistent on saying there are sleeper and there were other choices. Uh, you mentioned Virginia Tech. Uh, I think Wake Forest, I think Steve Forbes has really put together a nice roster. But I think Notre Dame, of all of the teams that I just mentioned, is the team that, yes, he they're the sleeper. I think they could win the ACC tournament. That just the way they're constructed, if everything comes together, 
as uh, Bray expects it to, I think they win the ACC tournament. 